the matters leading to the statement I'm about to make are of a uh, personal nature and I will not discuss them. For the well-being of all concerned, I have taken the decision to cease my playing career with the uh, Kangaroos. I regret the circumstances of my actions which has led to the decision and the pain it has caused to my wife and my family. I apologise to all my teammates and all the Kangaroo supporters. However, I believe this is the only proper and responsible course of action. Thank you. And so arguably the biggest single story in the history of football kicked off season 2002. Captain of the Kangaroos Team of the Century, Wayne Carey, quitting football after admitting to an affair with the wife of longtime teammate Anthony Stevens. The build up to the home and away series was extraordinary. Tony Lockett came back not only to football, but to the AFL tribunal. I think he's just a frustrated old man. Western Bulldogs captain Chris Grant spent most of the summer in a saga over insurance due to an old injury. I'm determined that no player should have to go through what I have had to go through for the past five weeks. When the players weren't creating headlines, those who called them were. ABC veteran Tim Lane quitting the new Channel 9 commentary team before the season had even begun. I have to be independent, I have to be seen to be independent and I felt that to broadcast the Collingwood Games with Eddie was to endorse his dual roles and I wasn't prepared to do that. Um, I promised to Tim, I said, I'm going to call the games with the greatest integrity, yes. because it's not just Tim's integrity at place here, there's yours, there's Gary Lyons. I'm going to work with someone who's biased, no, no, but, but not only that. <laughs> and the on-field action saw Port Adelaide making a back-to-back pre-season wins. Fred Koo, over to Jude, the open goal beckons and he rams it through, great start for the last quarter for Port. Defeating Richmond by nine points at Colonial Stadium in the Wizard Cup final.